some trail side maintenance. <laughs> Gonna loosen this guy up for less pounding of the butt. <laughs> Cause yeah, right now every bump I hit, it like bucks me off. It's like riding in a horse and buggy. It's very stiff. <laughs> Whack of All right, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be dialing in the suspension for my girlfriend's sled. We traded sleds the other day and she was way happier with how mine rode. It was a lot smoother over bumps. Hers was a lot firmer. So we're gonna try to figure out how we can dial in the suspension so that it doesn't pound her in the... <coughs> Um, we're gonna see how we can dial in her suspension so that it doesn't buck her off at every bump. This is a 2014 Arctic Cat F1100, and this is a 2015 Arctic Cat ZR8000. It's the same sled with just a different engine, so it really should just be all the tuning of the springs and shocks. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do, how much do you weigh? I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm like, that's me, and I don't, you don't ask a girl that. <laughs> I'm gonna have her jump on both sleds and measure how much the sled compresses with a ruler, just to get a baseline. All right, we're gonna see how much compression we have when you get on here, and I'm measuring from that character line. So why don't you hop on here? Okay, it moved about a quarter of an inch. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the other one. All right, so here's my sled. We're gonna see how much this moves when she gets on it. Hop around a little. I think the, the skid might be frozen. Let's try this one more time. Jump around a little. Okay, it looks like it sank about one and a half inches, a little more than that. So let's try this one again. Have you hop around on it so it isn't frozen. Jump around and sit. It's about the same. So something is different here. I mean, this feels like I'm sitting on a board when I even, even bouncing around on it. Like, I know it's moving, but it feels like really rigid compared to yours feels really springy. Sure, <laughs> yeah, hop up and down. This is twerking. <laughs> Maybe an inch. Yeah. Let's try it on this one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting like two inches of travel on yeah, this one. It just feels a lot more springy on this one. Yeah, the travel is, is a lot more on this one. So the other day when we were riding, I spun this spring seat and locking collar all the way down. And I don't think there's an adjustment here. In the back here, the torsion springs are set to the weakest amount. To be continued. All right, we're now in the garage. I was trying to figure out how to get this thing a little bit softer for her. One thing I did was I greased the rear suspension uh, right here and right here. So I'm gonna grease that point as well, which should allow the whole suspension to move a little easier. Then I'm going to bottom out the preload on the front spring here. Other than that, I don't really think there's much else I can do besides starting to change parts. So we're going to do all that and see how she likes it. All right, so all the pivot points have been greased on the skid, and I spun the spring all the way down. So let's see how far down this thing collapses when you sit on it now. Did you have a big breakfast? <laughs> Okay, it collapsed about two inches. It seems a lot softer. Hopefully it's not too soft. Why don't you take it for a test ride and uh, film your report coming back. That's it for this one. Super 